You are listening to Proof Text, a Glossa House podcast by Dr. T. Michael W. Halcom, Dr. Frederick J. Long, Dr. Mario Melendez, Dr. Jennifer Noonan, and J. M. Smith. Welcome and enjoy. Hello, and welcome to Proof Text. I'm Michael Halcom, and in this short episode, we are thinking about Hebrew vocabulary. In particular, we have the word Lamed. In mind. Um, so uh, we are going to look at uh, stepbible.org as we often do, and then two letter look up just to see uh, what we find there. So let's take a moment, tent, tent, and we'll go check this out. So if you're watching, you have a little bit of an advantage here. Um, if you're listening, that's just fine too. So I'm going to go ahead and search. I was actually just doing a search, but let me uh, do one here for you. So I'm going to get my keyboard set to Hebrew and got that typed in. And you can see we actually have three different related forms. Um, and one of those seems a bit irrelevant. But we have lachak and lechak. So uh, one has to do with to take. And the other has to do with the teaching, or teaching, and they look very similar. So you can see this occurs almost a thousand times in six different forms. So we'll go ahead and get a look at it. Our earliest uh, canonical reference is Genesis 2.15, uh, Vayechach uh, Yahweh Alehim et Adam. So, and uh, Yahweh Elohim uh, took Adam. And, and so... That's what it has to, that's what it means. It has to do with taking, to take. So we can click on that and we see lachak. And you can see that uh, it has the base meaning of to take, but it can also mean get, fetch, lay hold of, seize, receive, acquire, buy, bring, marry, take a wife, snatch, take away. There's all kinds of, and once you get into, um, uh, different verb forms it can take on all kinds of different meanings, but they're basically all related back to take. So, um, lachak has to do with take. Now, we can go over to two letter look up and look there as well. So, let's do that. We've got the lamed, uh, kof. And, uh, well, it's going to go ahead and start pulling them up there. But we'll just scroll down. There we go. Um, we have Lachak is the one we're looking at. And you can see it's basically the same thing we saw on Step Bible. You're from Strong's. Um, and we can get the full lexicon entries if we want. So if we wanted to look at Jastro or Gesenius, uh, Gesenius, we could. Let's just go ahead and look at Gesenius really quick and see what we get. And it'll pop up and go to the right page here. So there we go. Uh, we will uh, scroll down for just a minute until we found it. Find it. There's lecha. Um, so let's back up here. I wonder if it's uh, on the previous page where it's starting. Let's see. Yep, it is. Uh, and you can see we have a way, um, a way larger pool of meaning to take from here. And it's going to give us verse references and, and things like that. We can zoom in if we want. Um, but again, uh, the Greek counterpart of Lemvano to take, right? Um, and in all kinds of answers or, uh, Sorry, examples of what this is going to look like to take with the hand, for example, to take for oneself. Uh, man, this is very in depth, but lechak has to do with take, right? To take. So uh, that's it for this episode, and uh, we're going to stop there. I hope that helps. Interested in growing your ancient language skills but not sure where to start? Glossa House can help. From illustrated readers and short stories to lexicons and grammars, Glossa House offers a variety of resources for beginning, intermediate, and experienced ancient language learners. 
Head to glossahouse.com today. Glossa House, language resources for the global community.